Welcome back to Breaking Borderlands. On our last adventure... What did we do on our last adventure? Well... Was it Athena's or the Skywell? I do believe it was the Skywell. So now that we've gotten that taken care of, we're here at uh, Atlas Headquarters. Do I need... Ammo? Alright, so... We're gonna come through. Now, when you, uh, actually, like, waypoint in here later on, for some reason you come in here at the bank, but if you're short on money, you know, just come in and... Most of them are locked. But, you can rob the bank if you want. Now, uh... I had made mention before of, uh, you want groupings of treasure chests if you're gonna open them. And Atlas HQ is a good one. Um, you lose enemies to shoot for shooting capabilities, but, yeah, so you, you at least find something that's worth it. Now, there is a skip. I don't know if we can use it, though. So here's a Typhon log. There's enemies up here. Hopefully they spawn in. Because it's a, uh, if you're a fan of the Power Rangers like I was as a kid, there we go. Now, we were fortunate enough to get a Lucian's Call, which when you land a critical hit, it returns ammo to the clip. So while we're in Fadeaway, that's infinite clip for a second. Alright, sadly none of them dropped any of their dedicateds. But it's still a good farming spot because there's five elites to take care of. Now... I'm skipping a whole bunch of storyline by doing it this way, I think. I don't know... Because I think I have to at least trip... The attackers. Or not. Because eventually we're just going to end up here in the courtyard in the back. But I think I do need to trip the event to get here. Yeah, I do. If I if I had, then there would be a, an engagement that would start here. So let's go backwards. I'm just doing that for the movement speed right now. We'll come back for them. I wonder... Can I get close enough from the bridge? For it to go off? It seems not. Alright, so let's have this go off. Or did I just completely gl glitch this out? Nope, there it is. All right, so no, the defensive cannons are this way. So yeah, we're doing it naturally. But that's a good um speed running if you wanted to farm the power troopers. I'm just gonna speed run past these mobs. I mean, the Atlas soldiers are getting paid to die. I mean, fight. So. But. There's another chest here. There's actually another one down in another corner, but. I'm just gonna speed through this part. Cannons rebooted. I went and froze myself a bit. 
Okay, and now we're back to where we were earlier. Okay, so now take out the arbalist. And once the arbalist is on, he can come to the back. Now the funny thing about Null Hounds is that field may slow you down, but it actually doesn't do much damage in later levels. So early on is the only time you really gotta worry about it. But now turrets are active, so you can come up here and, you know... You can send a turret if you want. I prefer a more hands-on approach. I was wondering why it said that there was someone above me. I was looking for another sphere. It was just the turret. Now, the faster you can get through enemies, the faster this sequence goes. time you're gonna come down this way and hopefully not bite go into the water but I'm gonna take care of Moxie we don't have the capability to pick that up yet but just a little bit of extra XP put us over the edge there Don't glitch through the wall there next to the ladder. It wasn't really fixed. There's also a chest on the bottom level up in that corner. But I just want to get to Katagawa. Oop, sorry. Spoiler. So you're going to have to wait for this elevator to come down to you. Uh, I suggest maxing out the fast and the furious. If you left yourself some tidbits to clean up, then go ahead and take them out while the elevator shows up. Alright, now just take the elevator up. It's quite a long elevator, actually. Now, when we finally get our um, loot-finding artifact, Katagawa's really good for um, boosting two red chests that are nearby him. But one thing I'll warn is the artifact only increases the drop chance for the world loot pool. Which still has a bunch of good stuff in it and includes all of the Iridian artifacts and some class mods that we're going to be looking for, but... Yeah, don't forget to grab a chest back here. 
but again we'll cross that bridge when we come to it um the reason I make mention of that is because Katagawa has a dedicated drop that is a very sought after weapon you're gonna want one for your arsenal but let's go ahead and find the hidden escape shaft for Reese I'm gonna go ahead and skip the little cutscene Now, if you can do this right, he keeps landing on generators. And you can use those to take him out. Before he ever gets to wherever he is. No, I'm using the wrong weapon here. <laughs> I'm using the wrong weapon here, too. But at least it's fun. That was the right one. Alright, cool. I'm going to get as many stickies on him as I can. That was a good one. Alright, now, where do you go? He's going to jump around and throw stuff while he gets his shield back. Then wait for him to land on one of these generators. And you can, can like instantly get his shield. Oh, there we go. Because he's going to try and use him to recharge himself. And instead you can use it to completely mess him up. And then look for the one with no shield. Which I do believe... Is that one over there? No. It would help if I could hit him. That ain't him. Yeah, you gotta get the timing right to win as soon as his shield charges. Knock out the generator. Oh, he's almost done. Got him. So around this time the loot finding artifact would end up going off and we would be getting a world drop chance off of him with increase but also at this moment it would go off and that's around the time you would come through the door hit this red chest and then keep running as fast as you can and it is possible to get to this red chest too now red chest with the artifact almost guarantee ooh nice almost guarantee a legendary drop which I got pretty lucky on both these chests this time too so oh no that's that's pretty I'd rather have that than the Tunguska which is weird because this one shoots even funnier because the regular launcher flies up and then throws those out and then the mortar is a burst launch that does the same thing and it will light up the entire area. It is devastating. Now as far as the conference call is concerned, in the early levels it's good. But right now, not so much. So I'm going to stick... Yeah, because you can see the item score. And just the straight up stats, really. The butcher's banner. Alright, and now we talk to Reese. Now you have a choice to make here, and it's very important. Do you like Reese's mustache, or do you not like Reese's mustache? Now, you can make a second playthrough and choose the other option, but 
I, you know, it's just what you want to stick with. I personally don't like him with the mustache. I don't think it fits. Now, if you take the mustache, he ends up giving you a trinket that's the mustache, and, um, I can't think of what else. But, on the other hand, he'll give you, um, Atlas-based cosmetics if you say you like his mustache. Me, I don't like it, so, he's gross. That that was very specific in how it just no. My goodness. Yeah, and um, right. But you get a couple of things there, and then you get Reese's piece. Which I thought was funny. But now we have to go back to Sanctuary. Um, just wait for the prompt. There we go. And then back to Sanctuary. Now at this point we're almost done with Promethea. I think we have one more stretch to do, which has a, um, a vehicle part in it. Not my favorite, but beforehand I think there's a lot of talking to do here on Sanctuary. So you know, get a chance to go uh, store what weapons you want to save. Um, Upgrade your SDUs a bit. You know, it's just a way to kill time while everybody discusses plans. Um, again, you can go if you want to waste some money on the slot machines at Moxie's, you can. Another good option at this point in time is to tip Moxie's jar because she will mail you guns in your social menu. Um, the crit is great, the hail's not so good. But the crit is fantastic. Gonna hold, sell that off. And again, you know, upgrade your SDUs and whatnot. Uh, search the machines, see if, you know, they happen to have anything good in them. Play some Borderlands Science. Just, you know, something to cut the time. So, come to the bridge. And then there to discuss where the vault is and how we're going to get there. But again, go ahead and uh, do that. Now, at any time you want to, because you've seen cartel members show up. If you want to know what that's all about, you can uh, talk to Maurice. He's in a bit of trouble, hence the broken arm. Um, but he says to go to Ascension Bluff on Pandora and it's guaranteed that in that area there are um, cartel members but they can pop up anywhere as you see you just need to um, pick up whatever it is they drop so I'm going to keep that on because you'll see them pop up on your mini-map as objectives. But right now we need to go to the Neon Arterial. So to do that, we're first going to have to go back to, you guessed it, the Meridian Metroplex. So Promethea, the Metroplex. We're going um, right next to where we picked up the Sonic Cyclone. But we're going to have to take out a murder squad from Malawan. Yeah, they're a little uh, ticked off. We killed their boss. But 
We take them out, and then we end up at the driving section, and I'm probably gonna cut the video off after we're done that little engagement. I don't want to get it too long. So now, uh, either take a quick vehicle to get there and just go on your feet, or uh, take a vehicle with some weapons you agree with and uh, take out the crowds that way. I prefer just drive here into the corner. I was very fortunate to get this Lucian's Call in ice because critical hits have a higher chance of freezing enemies and then they take more damage from critical hits that way. So, hence why I seem to be killing them so fast. That's the reason. Oh, a vehicle showed up. Oh, it's got the Tesla coil. Please don't kill it, guys. All right. That's actually got a few things. Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Alright. So, that's a paint job. I want to say it has a specialized booster, too. Let's see what we won. Was I correct? Yep, the blaze booster. But the main reason that I wanted to grab it, this Tesla coil has, at lower level difficulties, has the capability to fry the driver and the gunner and leave the car somewhat undamaged. So if ever you really need or want a car that you have found and it's, you know, running you down, you need to stop it, that's how. And this was one of the Atlas vehicles. Now, you're going to get the heavy armor anyway from the next area, from doing the driving mission. But, eh, why not? It was there. Free vehicle. And don't freak out. Sometimes it will not tell you that there's new parts. But they should show up. And again, if it didn't, then... You'll be good, because it, you'll get it after this uh, next mission. But the Neon Arterials are next destination, so I uh, hope you found this entertaining and informational, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.